Hey guys, I'm Ben. And I'm Bianca. And welcome to our first ever homemade how to's. So this is a little bit different than what we usually do on homemade movies. When we build stuff, uh, we only make it for the shot that we're recreating. So for example, if we only see the uh, front half of Iron Man, we don't make the back half of Iron Man. Iron no. Man has no back. Iron Man, <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man never walks away. <laughs> These aren't going to be exactly like the movies. These are going to be still in the homemade style. Uh, it's just that they're gonna be complete costumes and they're gonna be a little bit stronger. So we're doing Mortal Kombat, we're gonna focus more on the characters that require more of a build, like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, a little bit of Kano, because he's got that face piece, and then, um, of course, Goro. We're gonna build Goro. Goro, that's our mountain. Yeah, Mount Goro. So let's get to it. We're using the same basic template for the top overlay piece, mm -hmm. so whatever we measure out to that, we can measure out for, for the um, other one as well. Sub-Zero. We found some pretty awesome fabric. So we got about two yards of it. This was $6 a yard. The other alternative is if you want to get a little more homemade, go yep. to Goodwill, find a big extra large like yellow t-shirt. Or some yellow sheets. Yellow sheets. So we're gonna measure shoulder to shoulder. So we have all of our marks here. So then the uh, long part, which is- The um, length. <laughs> <laughs> The length, it looks like it kind of comes right below the crotch. Okay. Is there a better way to say that? It comes um, right halfway below. halfway down the thigh. Halfway down the thigh. <laughs> and again, this is going to be different depending on how tall or short you are. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got our piece cut here. Save that extra for later because we're going to make the belts out of those. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to find the midpoint of this because we're going to base all the other cuts and measurements off of the midpoint of this piece of fabric. The V shape comes down to about the belly button. Where's your belly button? Tell me where to stop. Right there. Right there? Yeah. The outside also tapers and the whole thing tapers into the waist, right? For the bottom piece, you're just gonna go straight down. Now it's time to cut. All right, now we have the front piece, and we're gonna just uh, trace it to the back. So now we just cut that. Because we have these flat edges right here, we're gonna want to make a hem. Our quick and easy solution to that is using hot glue. Pretty awesome. All right, sweet. That was our no sew hem. <laughs> Look at those shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, so just the belt. Do the belt. Awesome. So now this is going to be the length that we're going to make our belt. We're all done with Scorpion's belt and tracing it onto Sub Zero's material. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys how to do the masks. Okay. They each have a different design to the masks, and we're going to make those entirely out of cardboard and tape and spray paint. So let's move to the overhead. We're going to start off with just the base. The base part is from the nose, end of the nose to the chin. So now we're going to do the little segments in there, and it looks like each one is about a quarter of an inch, so you're just going to cut a quarter of an inch strips out of cardboard, and it's really just sort of piecing it together. So once you get your frame figured out, what you're going to do is take little pieces, fit the piece in, so you want to do that all the way down. So once you have that all done, you could leave it and just um, continue on with the next part, which is going to be adding these pieces, um, and just leave this cardboard and spray paint that. Um, but I kind of want to make this all look like one piece, so what we're going to do is this, and uh, we're going to use gaff tape. So now we're going to cut all these little pieces out like I did here. So you're going to do that all the way down. Stick out a little bit, but I think they're probably about a half inch pieces. You don't want to do that um, all the way down on each side. So now we got the entire thing covered with our tape and it's ready to get spray painted. We're going to take it outside. Now Sub-Zero has a little bit different design. It 
it's just raised off of the mask a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and make that edge. First piece we're gonna put something right here. I like to make sound effects when I cut because it helps. is going to fit underneath the one that we just put in. Okay, so then you do the same thing for the other side. So what I'm going to do is just cut this stuff out. So now we want to cover this with our gaff tape. And we're going to hit this with some uh, blue spray paint. So Show. Here they are totally finished. They uh, look really awesome. So all we have left to do is the straps, which we're going to use twine. So now it's time to tackle Kano's wardrobe. Kano. So now it's time to tackle Kano. Kano. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it looks like Kano's basically just wearing a pair of black pants and uh, no, shirt. no shirt. It's just that face mask. Um, what do we got? So we got a Phantom of the Opera half face mask. And actually, shirt. his nose isn't even in there, if you notice so his it. nose has got to go. There, it's kind of a triangle shape. And for his red eye, we have a red transparent divider. We are going to attach the little red square into there. And there you go. <laughs> <There's Kano. All> right. <laughs> so now it's time for us to conquer Mount Goro. Mount Big G. We found a video when we were kind of doing some research on how to build um, Goro. We actually found a video of Amalgamated Dynamics doing test footage with their Goro build, and it was essentially an animatronic torso that sat on top of the performer's shoulders. And as soon as we saw that, we knew that that was the way we were going to go. We are going to be doing a watered down, homemade version of the way that they actually did it in the film. So uh, we're going to start with the head. And uh, basically what we would do is we look at reference photos and we're gonna kind of figure out the basic shapes. And Bianca, you had a really awesome idea for building the head. Which was, um, that was using a basic foam head. Then using the idea that you had in mind with the pieces of cardboard, we put those uh, on that and then paper mache the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the lips. be the cheekbone. It is like a lot of just playing with the materials yeah. and looking at your references. For the shape of the chin, I was actually thinking, you have these like Mickey Mouse cups from the 99 cent store. That's actually really awesome. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Sweet. I like that. Sweet. Like his head, his forehead sort of slopes down. All that probably needs to like come out. <laughs> Weird, it's like sensation. It's like, oh, <laughs> I was actually thinking we could maybe put that on the top of the head. His head kind of oh extends my God. back. <laughs> and then we could put the ponytail like coming out of there. <laughs> that's like, that's too funny. We have to use that. Everybody. <laughs> All right. Right, let's let's do get it. some paper mache going. Okay. It's basically one part water and one part flour. Mm -hmm. It's essentially you want to get it to look like pancake batter. And then we have newspaper. Take your strips. Just get them in there. Get them a little wet. Mm. This is where we get messy. We've got uh, Goro's head and it's almost completely dry, but the neck is still quite a bit damp, mm -hmm. so we're going to let it sit out in the sun while we work on the body. Yes, and for the body we've got a whole bunch of random stuff here. We've got pool, floaters, uh, belts, and a uh, garbage can, which is going to be our body. There you go, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we have our shoulder pieces cut out and now we're going to figure out where we want to put the fake arms on the top. Yep. So essentially what we're going to be doing is this is going to be the support for our arm. Then we're going to take this piece of wood, put it on the other side as support, and our screw is going to go through the wood and into this piece here so we'll have a nice tight secure um, peg essentially to then slip the arms onto. Okay, let's do it. So. so then the next thing you want to do is drill a pilot hole into the pegs. We need to set a base on the inside of the trash can that we can put the foam. So we've got this 11 inch piece that's going to fit firmly in there and then we're going to take this piece and we're going to attach it to there and it's going to be the base of the net. <laughs> so now we're going to figure out about how long these arms should be. So, um, looks like Goro is all dry. He is dry. He's been out sunbathing all day, so... Did get a tan. He's still kind of white. Well, we'll definitely spray tan him. Yeah. So, Alright. Alright, let's head outside. Whatever's deep is going to be darker, and whatever sticks out is going to be lighter, so I'm going to leave these edges a little bit lighter. Looks like he's missing his eyeballs. His eyeballs, yeah. So let's get those going. Uh, what we're gonna use is ping pong balls. Using our exacto blade, we're gonna just cut that out. <laughs> oh! We need to make all of the muscles. Goro has like an eight pack, actually. So we're gonna use foam, and you can use pillow stuffing. This is like kind of couch cushion foam. There has to be a way to fix the abs to the body, the trash can. Mm -hmm. Hot glue won't work because it's not strong enough, so mm -hmm. we're going to use zip ties. Mm -hmm. Nice and tight. Cool. Ingenious. Um, let's put the arms together. Yes, let's do that. Rolling, rolling, rolling. For very heavy gauge wire, we have this garden trellis that we we uh, snipped off some pieces just using a wire cutter. It's a lot cheaper. We got this at the 99 cent store. Mm -hmm. so. I'm going to slip that wire through the hole. You can bend it and it stays. So we got some nude flesh tone colored leggings. Mm -hmm. They were like three for $10. And we're going to probably beef it up a little bit, add some more stuffing, um, add some twine to the outside of it so that we can tighten it and really get those muscles defined. For the hands, we're going to make a, um, a basic stencil. But yeah, you definitely want to make it very big. There's four hands and there's got to be two pieces of cloth for each hand, so we want to trace this eight times. So when you're cutting these, cut outside of the line. Don't cut on the line. Now you're going to glue hot glue right on the line. And we're going to turn it inside out. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to stuff just the fingers. Here they are, some really ugly, weird looking gloves. <laughs> and uh, no! So for the feet, we need a piece of cardboard. Boom, I'm going to need one of your shoes. Thank you. I'm going to draw like two. They're like little turtle toes. And we just need the tip of the toes. Just the tips. To this cardboard piece that we cut up wedge inside the sock. And then you're going to want to stuff the toes and a little bit onto the foot. And then you're going to want to take them outside and spray paint them with tan um, spray paint. Yeah, it looks like I, we just got to spray paint these yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, it's shaded a bit. His pants are going to come down. Oh. <laughs> this is getting real. <laughs> so we've got the body. He looks good. Mm -hmm. We just need to give him some skin. Get some skin. So we got some fabric here. We just got a whole bunch of this stuff. And it's going to go right over the top. Go. Cut that. We're kind of basically going to wrap it like a present. Mm -hmm. 